For a patient with metastatic breast cancer, the course of the disease can be unpredictable. Consequently, accurate information regarding a patient's disease state at any time during therapy is an essential aspect of patient care. Disease progression has traditionally been determined by clinical examination, assessment of tumour size by imaging, and in some cases by following the levels of certain proteins found in the blood, known as serum tumour markers. All of these tools are limited in their accuracy and reproducibility. Conventional CT scans, for example, can be used to detect changes in tumour size but do not provide information regarding the biology of the tumour. Additionally, CT scans are typically done at intervals of several months because they are not sensitive enough to detect tumour volume changes in shorter periods. CT scans are difficult to interpret and only poorly able to determine if a patient has either responded to or has clearly failed therapy. The elevation of serum tumour markers is only weakly associated with the amount of tumour present and may be elevated for reasons unrelated to the tumour, such as inflammatory conditions. Also, the spike phenomenon, where a temporary rise in tumour marker level is seen four to eight weeks following the start of therapy, can make clinical interpretation more difficult. Therefore, serum tumour marker analysis may be inconclusive and poorly correlated to treatment and patient outcomes. To optimise patient care, it's important for doctors to have powerful tools that provide accurate prognostic information for each patient at any time during therapy. In 1889, a surgeon named Stephen Paget proposed the seed and soil hypothesis to describe the mechanism by which cancer spreads or metastasizes around the body. The seed refers to cancer cells that break away from a primary tumour in one tissue and eventually establish themselves and begin to grow in the soil of another tissue. This theory has since been validated, with the seeds today referred to as circulating tumour cells, CTCs, the detection of which within the bloodstream can provide new and valuable information to doctors. When cancer spreads, tumour cells detach from the primary tumour and enter the bloodstream and travel to different parts of the body, a process known as metastasis. For patients with advanced cancer, the presence of CTCs in the bloodstream is associated with poor prognosis. These circulating tumour cells are rare and technically very difficult to detect. The cell search system was developed to detect circulating tumour cells in blood. Blood is first drawn by a syringe from a patient into a cell-safe preservative tube. Using a patented technology, the cell search system rapidly and accurately identifies CTCs in the sample by distinguishing them immunologically from other cells commonly found in blood. The combination of serial testing for CTCs along with tumour imaging may provide the most accurate assessment of patient prognosis. Blood is drawn from the patient into a cell-safe preservative tube, which stabilises CTCs. When the sample arrives at the laboratory, 7.5 millilitres of blood is transferred into a conical tube and centrifuged to separate packed cells from plasma. The sample is then placed on the cell tracks autoprep system, which fully automates the remaining sample preparation steps. First, the system detects the red blood cell layer and aspirates the plasma to waste, then resuspends the sample in buffer. CTCs are then enriched using ferrofluid coated with antibodies, targeting the epithelial cell adhesion molecule. Tumour cells of epithelial origin are thereby magnetically separated from the bulk of the cellular material within the sample. CTCs are then stained with cytokeratin monoclonal antibodies which are specific to epithelial cells. To distinguish contaminated leukocytes from CTCs, a pan-leukocyte monoclonal antibody called CD45 is also added. Finally, cell nuclei are stained using a DNA stain called DEPI. These enriched and stained cells are then transferred to the cell tract's cartridge, which is contained within the cell tract's magnus, for analysis.
The mat nest is incubated in the dark for 20 minutes. And during this time, a plasma magnetic force pulls the cells to the surface of the cartridge and holds them firmly in place. The mag nest is then inserted into the cell tracks analyzer too. The cells, which are now held in place at a single focal depth, are then automatically scanned by the fluorescent optical system of the cell tracks analyzer too. The cell tracks analyzer too records fluorescent events and presents images to the user for classification. By this process, CTCs are identified as the cells that are positive for cytokeratin and derpy, but negative for CD45. Clinical studies with the cell search system have demonstrated that the presence of five or more CTCs in 7.5 milliliters of blood before the initiation of any line of therapy is highly predictive of short progression-free survival and short overall survival in patients with metastatic breast cancer. Levels of CTCs are also highly predictive of progression-free survival and overall survival at any time point during treatment. And changes in CTC levels are also predictive of reduced or improved survival. Furthermore, the cell search CTC test has also been shown to provide predictive and prognostic information similar to that from imaging. Serial testing for CTCs in combination with other clinical methods for monitoring disease, such as imaging, may provide the most accurate assessment of prognosis. CTCs, therefore, represent an extremely powerful, predictive and prognostic tool for physicians in managing patients with metastatic breast cancer. The cell search CTC test is used to aid in the monitoring of patients with metastatic breast cancer. The cell search circulating tumour cell test accurately predicts progression-free survival and overall survival at any time during the continuum of therapy, allowing serial monitoring of patient prognosis for more informed patient care decision. It's the first standardised and semi-automated test system for circulating tumour cells all from a simple blood test by rapidly and accurately identifying the number of CTCs in a blood sample. The cell search system can help doctors assess patient prognosis at any time during therapy. Ultimately, this information may help doctors optimise and individualise the care of each patient.